This time I still have not tried one shawarma. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Hasbro Infinite series first appearance Walgreens exclusive Daredevil. Big thanks to X Manny87 for sending this my way for my birthday gift. I really appreciate it, man. Very cool of you. Please check out his Instagram. He takes great pictures of the figures. Great ACBA. So check him out. Links below. And then you get this really cool packaging for Daredevil over here. Uh, it says Daredevil right up there. You get the two D's right over there on the side. You get this nice yellow image of Daredevil. And then on the back, you can see the figure right here. And it looks like I guess he's technically part of this Spider Man wave over here. And there's a read up. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it now. Same yellow image of Daredevil. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Walgreens exclusive first appearance Daredevil out of the packaging and I really like this figure a lot. I do have one real complaint about it and that's just the D on the chest. It is just way too big but other than that I think this is a fantastic piece. You can see right there it is a bit on the big side and then he does actually come with a secondary head sculpt which I am very happy to have. I'm stoked that we're getting a Matt Murdock head sculpt. I think that's very cool. I am just bummed out that it is a reused head sculpt from Hawkeye. It is the same exact head sculpt over here, so I wish we got a unique head sculpt, but I'm still happy to have a Matt Murdock. So he does have some nice red hair over here. Looks pretty good. So I wish we had some paint shading or something like that, but still, it's painted pretty nicely. I mean, aside from this little smudge of black right over there, but other than that, it's pretty good. And you can see he does have a darker flesh tone than the Hawkeye. And looking at the Daredevil head sculpt, again, reused, but really, really good. I love the paint on this. Good flesh tone. I like how the eyes came out. I like the color choice of yellow that we get here. And again, it's the same sculpt, but I do like the wrinkles that we have over there. You can see the ear. It looks like we got a little bit of plastic molding right into the ear hole, so that's a little unfortunate. But on this side, it does look better. And I like how you can see the seams in his mask right there up at the top. Then giving a little demonstration on swapping the heads on this guy, you just pop that off. And I think the color choice right here for this plastic ball joint right there, I think that looks really good. You know, slightly different, but still it matches pretty well. And then you can just pop on the Matt Murdock head right here. And yeah, that's a bit of a tight fit. But this should fit, you know, especially because the modern Hawkeye figure that this mold originally came from did use the Bucky Cap mold as well. So you can see how that looks. Yeah, it looks all right. But going back to the torso over here, yeah, I just think the D is too big. I mean, seeing these pictures right here, you can see it's just not as big. But that's my only real gripe with this guy. I think the paint came out very clean for it. Nice deco, and I like how it goes all the way up right here through the ab crunch. So that's really good. You don't get any paint shading on this figure. Marvel Universe figures, we'd gotten a lot of paint shading. So, yeah, I do have to mention I wish we had the paint shading. Okay, so that's gripe number two. Then the belt looks really nice right over here. He does have his two batons again, which are made out of a firmer plastic than they were the first time around with this daredevil over here. You can see these are very very soft and bendy. For some reason these ones are much more stiff which I actually prefer and then you can connect these just like I could with the other ones so that looks pretty nice and then you could just fold them up and then just put them right back in his little sheath that he has over here and that looks pretty good. Looking at the rest of the figure you know it is the bucky cap mold and you have this nice deco so I think the deco came out really clean for this and then there's the peg holes at the bottom of his feet and here's a last look at the back of the figure and you can see that hole right over there from bucky and then if you wanted to actually put that Matt Murdock head sculpt on the first Daredevil that we'd gotten recently, or the red suited version, that does work too. So I like that. That looks pretty cool. Then sometimes in the comics you see Daredevil using red batons. So I, if you want to, you know, get that look going, you can make that happen also, which I think is really cool. So seeing him with the red batons looks awesome to me. Now I've reviewed figures with this body mold dozens of times, so you guys should know the articulation on it. And measuring it out, it is standing at six and a half inches tall. And then here's our new first appearance Daredevil next to the Hasbro Nemesis Wave. I think it was a Nemesis Wave Daredevil that this came in and this one always irritated me. One because it had the two D's sculpted on there and then two because I wanted shadowing effects so bad on this one. I think I used a brown colored pencil right there and the creases and stuff. So yeah I wish this one had the shading too but at least I like the color yellow that they used on this one much more than this guy. And then here's our first appearance Daredevil compared to the red suited Daredevil and then we have the chameleon figure with the Matt Murdock head sculpt on there and it's really cool that it does fit on there nicely. I think this Moon Knight stick is a little too much. And then to compare this first appearance Daredevil to a couple other first appearance Marvel Legends figures, we have first appearance Spidey and the first appearance Hulk. Both of these from Toy Biz. And I think this first appearance Daredevil fits in nicely. And then here he is next to the Marvel Legends big time letdown Spider-Man. 
So, you're really blind, huh? Well, how many fingers am I holding up, huh? Huh? How many fingers am I holding up? Ah! So, I have my gripes about the size of the letter D right there on his chest and there not being any shadowing. But really, to be honest with you guys, I'm just very happy to have a cool looking first appearance Daredevil. I missed out on the Spider Man Classics one. And to be honest with you, I just think this is a better looking first appearance Daredevil than the Spider Man Classics from way back when. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here for more shart in your face. Check out my Patreon account. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And go to Marvelous News com for the latest in Marvel related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Then you can connect them just like the first time.